That was pretty good. Today's challenge is the black tees. Nine holes. Let's go. Get in the hole. No way. No. Don't have the black tees down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tee off from the furthest spot back that I can get. Uh, <laughs> this bird just keeps yapping. All right. All right. I'll respect it. Three hybrid. Uh, looking for like a 200 meter shot here. Somewhere near that white stake. And then figure the rest out as we go. All right, pretty good strike. I think that should give me a decent look into the green from there. All right, I have 160 to the pin here. I've got a five iron. I do have this tree line kind of in the way, so I've got to play a little bit almost of a, a little cut into the green to get this to the pin. I'm just going to take a little bit off this. I've got it cutting, but I think it's... might be just on the left edge of the green. Let's go have a look. All right, I found this bunker. I've got a really long bunker shot. I just uh, haven't started the best today, so I haven't been playing well. To be honest with you, I've, I've been struggling with my swing. All right, same wedge, 56 degree. Try and just bump this up to the green somewhere. Okay, well, that's not good. Let's get this second one out. That's better, run. All right, two shots in the bunker, got a putt. I got a pretty long putt here. Um, Save my bogey, I got, got to try to do my best. Not really seeing too much here, I think. I think it's gonna be pretty straight, might break to the right a little bit. All right. Not a great start, but you know what? I think playing off the blacks today, it's gonna to be a tough day. All right, not a great start, but we have 550 meters, par five. It's a tough day, really um, in for a public course. It's long, man. It's playing like 7,000 7, meters or something. All right, plenty of fair way to hit. I got a driver, so try and hit a little draw. Stay consistent here. Well, that's hanging left. Just a huge block out to the left. I was practicing at home and then as you all, you know, as we all do, I just tinkering with my swing and it's completely broken at the moment. So today is going to be an absolute grind. But yeah, stick around, man. It's going to be entertaining one way or another. I don't have any good news here. Um, I think it's going to be a drop. Completely lost this ball. It's quite an open space too. So it kind of entered right here towards these two trees. I'm gonna take a drop just off the fairway. I have a five iron. I'm just gonna to try to keep this in play and get a shot onto the green somewhere up there. And I think that should be just fine. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Let's go find out. I have about 143 to the pin here. Um, seven iron. I don't know how it's gonna react out of this. I got bunkers, I got the rough, I got bunkers. Pin looks like it's a, probably closer to the front. I'm gonna choke down a little bit. Hopefully, this doesn't fly out of here. Hit it pretty well. All right, good shot. I got a long par putt. Does look like it's uphill and into the grain. I'm gonna be pretty aggressive with this putt and hopefully try to get this within a foot or so. Get up there. All right, really good putt. Don't mind that at all. In for a bogey, man. Look, you can't make up every shot and you can't try to hunt when you're not going too well. Let's keep moving on. Three 
370 meter par four, playing off black tees for the first time. Um, super challenging, man. It's adding like 30, sometimes 40 meters onto tee shots. It's a challenge for sure. Pretty narrow fairway to hit here. Um, I'm aiming basically at those bunkers right at the back. Go ball. Keep going. Just in that fringe rough stuff up there. Should be fine. Pretty good drive. 115 into the pin here. Um, I got a pitching wedge. Not much wind. I think it's going to probably fly out of this stuff. It got a bit chunky. That's going to be short. The grain's kind of against me, but I'm really afraid of taking a 56 degree, especially at these courses that aren't kind of sand belt courses because they can tend to dig um, quite a lot. So I've got a 48 degree, which is my gap wedge. I'm going to try to just bump one, play a little bit back in my stance and get it running towards the hole. Sit. Not awful, but definitely could have done better. I got a pretty decent look for my pie. It's about maybe 12 feet. Looks like it might be down the hill. Very makeable, friendly looking putt. And I think it's gonna filter towards the flag here. I got this just inside of that divot that's up there. Maybe a cup and a, about a cup or a half a cup outside the left. That's a great putt. We will take that every day. Good save after absolutely chunking. <laughs> Taking so much dirt with me with that pitching wedge, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that save. This is where things start to get a little crazy. I got a 220 meter par three over water. I gotta carry it about 200. Um, <laughs> that's insane. I think it's gonna be a three wood. You know what? Playing from the blacks is actually challenging, but it's a lot of fun. All right, my line is kind of those bunkers on the left. If I end up in them, I end up in them. I don't want anything to do with the right hand side here. So, and this is into wind too. Go ball. Be so good. Okay. Game plan worked. Didn't go in the water. Ended up in the bunker on the left. So we're good. We're all good. I got a pretty long bunker shot here. It's pretty scary too because there's a huge drop off straight after the green into water. Got a sand wedge. I'm gonna try and pop this into the just get this up in the air and rolling towards rolling towards that pin. Yeah, safely on. Man, this is a tough hole. 222 meter par three. Um, I don't think that happens too often. All right, so I don't think bogey's a bad score on this hole at all. Um, in fact, I would be absolutely, I will be over the moon if I walk off with a bogey here. Don't mind the drone to the right. Um, that's gonna sit there peacefully, but I have an uphill putt, kind of walk it out. It does look like it's going to, yeah, uh, it's tough, man. Does look pretty uphill and then snakes towards the water. So looking for this to break to the right. Oh, drop. Wow. That was close. Great putt. It's a pretty good putt in the end. Slippery one now downhill. So I'm going to make sure of this. Yeah, good putt. I'm happy with that bogey. All right, got a 485 meter par five. Driver, a little bit of a draw off those bunkers up there. 
Oh, it's heading right at those bunkers. Get over it. Okay, I think I'm just over. Should be okay. If you're not subscribed into the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to 500 subscribers, um, and then we'll be on the way to 1,000. Just under 240 to the pin. And there's, I do have just a little bit, I mean, and I mean just a little bit of wind behind me. So I'm gonna try to get this up as close to the green as possible. Got my three wood, um, something like a 220 shot would be, would be awesome. All right, that's gotta sit. Okay, not too bad. I think I just missed the fairway, but I should have a fairly easy chip on. What a really nice autumn evening or afternoon. It's only like four o'clock. I don't know, I think morning golf and then like late afternoon golf. That's where it's at. All right, 50 meter shot. Got my sand wedge. Wanna just control something. Let me make sure this club doesn't grab too much through this stuff. Something you gotta be really careful of. Oh, don't. That's literally landed half a meter shorter than what I needed it to. Balls, this is where my ball ended up. It's kinda just needed to get onto the green because that is all severely downhill. Now I've got a, a lot of work to do to get my par here. So I'm gonna go with the trusty Texas wedge, although I've never been to Texas. All kind of slopes left to right. I'm gonna be fairly safe with this out to the left and then hopefully get it close to the hole. Better start breaking. Keep breaking. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uphill, probably breaking to the left. All this grain is kind of growing away from the hole and down that way. So probably half a cup outside left hand side here. Turn. Ah. Oh. Gave it a good run. That chip shot really just cost me. You know what's crazy? The par four coming up, 300, 330 on the, from the black. So there's no black tee here. I'm, I'm at the very back of the blue tees. That's as far as I can go, because it's all bush behind you. But you know, it's, the crazy thing about this hole is that like a month ago, I, I drove it onto the green from the whites up there and that's like a 60 meter difference, dude. <sighs> golf, golf is hard. Golf is a lot harder when you play off the black tees. All right, something at the left-hand side. Um, bring it back around. Leave me with a wedge onto the green. Oh, it's heading right at those bunkers. Fade a little more. Fade. Stay there. I hope that I didn't find those bunkers. I healed that so bad. There's a hole that I can make a birdie on. It's this one. Like, um, it's not a long hole, even off like the very back tees. I just hope I haven't found those bunkers, but I think I have. And if that's the case, uh, we'll be grinding for a par. That's for sure. All right, I've just found this fairway bunker. I've got about 105 into the pin here, which you see the just the top of it. Um, choke down nine and hopefully just pick this up really clean. I don't want any, too much sand at all. Actually, I don't want any sand here. Oh, that was so good. Sit down. I think it's good. I don't know, there's some long shadows up there. I think it's safe. All right, I've ended up a little bit short of the green. I can see my pitch mark just on the green. I think it's just spun back, but I thought about taking a wedge from here, but these, when I play public courses and just winter golf in general, where your lies a lot, um, a lot softer, I just don't, I'm just not confident with a wedge in my hand. So I don't want something digging into the ground. I'm gonna try to keep this pretty simple with a putter. Uh, probably about 25 feet, maybe 30, straight back up the hill.
I didn't, ah, kind of just bobbled. I got a lot of work to do here. I don't know, man. I can't really putt with the pin in. I just, I feel like the hole's small enough and the pin just makes it smaller, but an uphill putt that's gonna break towards the flag here. I'm probably gonna be a cup, cup and a half maybe, outside the left side of this. Drop, drop ball. Come on! That is a great scrambling par. Gonna need way more than that. That was pretty good. I needed that, I needed that badly. This is really putting me to a test. Um, I don't think I've been this challenged in a round of golf and it really does put you under a little bit of pressure to try to figure out how to, you know, deal with the extra distance. This hole, I'm, I can see the white tees from all the way up there and even from the blues, it's a mile away. So make sure to subscribe and uh, let's get into this. Three more to play. Driver, got a big tree that I'm aiming at. Hope for a little bit of a draw back into the fairway here. Oh god, it's so low on the... F oh no. Hit a tree. 168 to the pin. Got a 5 iron. Oh, stop. Stop hooking. Oh, whoa! Alright, so my ball has hit this bridge these metal kind of handrails and then it went straight up in the air and the last time I saw it, it kind of bounced somewhere here and then into there. Ugh. I'm getting way too good at that. All right, let's feel this out. Make sure I get this on the green. Pretty good shot. Get in the hole. No way. No, oh my, no way. That's almost gone in the hole. It literally, I got like a foot. Man, I needed that. After all that. <laughs> That's golf. It's a hard sport, man. All right, 181 meter par three. Huge hole. This is kind of where I miss my four iron the most. For anyone that remembers, I snapped it on a tree, like, <laughs> on a video too, I think. Just need to try to get myself a putt. Oh, jeez. Stop hooking. Oh, wow. All right, well, kind of hooked it so bad. Um, and now I'm in a bit of trouble. Got to get up and down for a par. Sandwich here, 56 degree. Trying to get something running. Mm, yep. I don't really have to say anything, do I? Run. All right. Got a putt for bogey. I'm just gonna shut, I'm just not gonna say anything. Oh jeez, I didn't even hit it. Why don't you just hit the ball? Gotta hit the ball! Just unraveling right here. <laughs> Alright, last hole of the day. 390 meter par 4, stroke index 1. Man, tough hole. Tough hole. We've got something that this hole kind of goes right, then left. Snakes, there's water, there's bunkers. Just lots of trouble you can get into off the tee, so. I'm gonna be heading right, probably right at the houses at the back. And then figure the rest out. Gotta try to finish strong here. Um, if I can break like 44 or something, the way I've played, pr plus being off the black tees, that is a win. But right now I'm rattled and I'm in sh all sorts of trouble, so. Okay, pretty good ball. Sounded like that ball just popped. All right, really good ball. Got a 155 to the pin, which is kind of 
directly over this bunker right here. 145 to cover the front. That ball's literally gone nowhere. Choke down six iron, don't want to be short. It's gotten pretty cold in the last like 30 minutes, so the ball's not going as far. I just want to take my part and get out of here. <laughs> Don't, stop fading. I actually don't know. So we're gonna have to go see. Man, it's been a rough day. I did not expect it to be any different, to be honest. If I can two putt this, I'll be pretty happy. That was tough work. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video, man. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Um, I just gotta come back, try again, off the tips. Um, I got some new course content coming out soon. Make sure you are subscribed. Let me know what you thought about this content and uh, always remember, man, golf is hard. Whew.